Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuka World. Uh, last time we were here we met the disciples over that way. Um, I've since wandered over here to where the operators are hanging out. Um, on the way I found out that there are herbologists around somewhere. Um, now some of you may not know what the herbologists are because they only appeared in, uh, as far as I can recall, Fallout 2. Um, they, uh, basically they're a bunch of religious fanaticists um, who uh, basically are a joke on Scientology. Um, there are a whole bunch of guys who are hanging around in uh, San Francisco and we're going to build themselves a space shuttle, fuel it and leave the Earth. Uh, but in order to join you had to go through various stages of cleansing. Um, one of which I think probably involved giving up all your possessions. And they had celebrities there who uh, used to be in New Reno but were there in order to encourage people to join. Uh, so that's kind of where it it, uh, it came from. Uh, still, we're going to meet the operators here, and the pack are all the way over there. And uh, we heard, well, I'd say we heard, I heard on the way over here, some of the um, uh, disciples saying about how they would literally beat people up for a cigarette. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just here to talk to your boss. Hello. You're Mags. Mags back. Hello, how are you? Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Porter. Man was an idiot. Let us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> bored then, bored now. <laughs> bored? Kinda like this conversation now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk. <laughs> it's alright, though. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. Indeed. Anyways, this is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the operators. That's so nice. You understand soon enough that we are the only gang we should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Well, you say that. Uh, what, soda? <laughs> uh, soda? Huh, not quite. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Colter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he was large as a damn mountain dove. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Um, Sarcasm. Uh, why should I support you? Yeah, why should I support you and not the disciples? So I spoke to ready who have awesome artwork. Right. And you want to explain to me why exactly I should be backing the operators? Because we dispense with the bullshit. My people aren't commanded by lunatic bloodlust or animal instincts. We are the only rational players around here that would make valuable allies. So long as we know you intend to get this place back to bringing in caps. So we want to know what your plan is. Um, but my plan, so far, my plan is basically just to come here and go, hey, what's going down? Um, 
Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another <laughs> Of course, Overboss. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Hmm, okay. So, yeah, they are here because, um... Basically, this place is an amusement park based around, um... Obviously, soda, or, you know, get out of my fucking way, fucking operators. Um, yeah, based around soft drinks. And what does soft drinks that generally come in glass bottles have on? Bottle caps! So, win-win for, um, for the operators coming in. They're like, hey, you know, this place is an amusement park, which are built to make a profit. And it's based around soft drinks, which will have money attached to them. So, yeah, you can you can kind of see their angle. Um, we do need to go over this way now, because we need to meet the craziest of the lot, apparently. Who are the pack? Who are over this way? Uh, you appear to have... Moose antlers attached to your head, friend. And they don't exactly appear to be stable. Are you absolutely sure you're all right there? You, you're dressed like a clown. I don't like clowns. I tend to shoot clowns. I don't think I'm getting on with these folks very well. What about you? What the fuck is that? Yeah. Whatever. I don't like the pack already. Nothing personal. Well, I say nothing personal. It is personal. I hate clowns. The Bradenton Amphitheatre. Ah, you have dogs here. And... What the fuck are you? You some kind of like psycho penguin or something? Jesus! At least you look relatively normal. Damn it! Uh, well, I can see this place being fun for um, a certain type of mod that I am uh, somewhat familiar with. Um, Dog fighting mole rat. Probably skip to fight because the mole rat's not dead yet. Uh, we have a gorilla. Interesting. Very interesting. Because it, um, especially since in I think it was the um, wasteland workshop, was it? You got all the pages, and you need something. You need. Um, Gorilla meat for, and there's a gorilla here, which I'm assuming you open that door and get in and kill. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, and my sorry, frames dropped because hard drive is doing things. Let's it all hang out. Are you the boss? You're not the boss. Uh, are you the boss? No, you're not the boss either. What about you? You over here with the bandana, you've got to be in charge. No? God, you're bony. You really need something to eat. Uh, you, face paint man. Well, neither am I. Um, Yeah, fine. You wanna be? Your people aren't gonna cause me any problems, are they? Act the does what I tell them. You don't get in my way, they won't get in yours. 
I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us friends. I think we can all respect the cats. Each other. I don't think anyone's broke up. I have... Hmm. Just figure out what's the place we'd be in. Well, we get fat. Gabe says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over. If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah. <laughs> Coulter was weak. Coulter was weak. Why do you follow that? I've been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong. Coulter was definitely overboss. Things were good in the beginning. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what each year. So, what is it now? Something, anything that's more than sitting around in the world for the last year. I'm listening. Sure, there's clubs living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace and cats we signed up for. And none of us have Not even with this psychics. And then normally it should be fun so long as they're French their blood. Things were going to hell fast. Game. Got us together. Promised to find something to deal with gold. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I do you know what I've heard. The story is that Gage taught Coulter into becoming a boss. And he got you in the middle. Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe he lets him get things done without getting a bit of his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage has to close doors. Your share. Treat equally the other gangs. Do as you do as you are told. Well, I know I've got pretty damn good charisma, but I'm not wearing, really wearing any charisma gear. Um, I'm gonna treat everyone equally. I intend to treat all the gangs equally. Ain't no two gangs in this world that's truly equal, boss. Everything has its place. One gang is gonna end up on top, and one on the bottom. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here. You see in order. If you're ever able to do that, stop by. The loyalties are two ways straight. Hmm. Okay. Well, first off, I don't quite know how man should apply that face paint and not get any on his mustache. Uh. Second of all, that's a fucking noisy fight. Um, yeah, I mean these guys, they just seem to be in it for the action. Um, I don't know, I'm... Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I think these are closer to your, um, your traditional raid a bunch than any others, they just kind of want to be out there just doing stuff. Um, hmm, I don't know, I think I'm, I think I'm verging towards the disciples more than anybody else. I mean, they're the first people I met, um, but they seem like a genuinely fun bunch. Um, Although the controllers do just literally want cash, they're like, hey, get some money, we'll be fine. And you know, money in an amusement park based around soft drinks shouldn't be hard to come by. Um, I know he's been waiting for me, I've just met him. So, let's head back back over to Coulter uh, and then 
probably hold off for this episode. Uh, I've probably been at this nearly half an hour now, I think. Gotta keep searching. Can't give up now. Uh, yeah, those of you who don't know Damn, Sierra back there, she is actually from the Capital Wasteland. Um, if you go, I think it's Underpass, there's a lady there who is a Nuka Code fanatic, and it's Sierra. And obviously, you know, if somebody is going to have um, uh, have her reappear, it's going to be a Nuka Cola themed theme park. Uh, right, so back up, back up we go. So I'm assuming this is mostly going to be kind of like a quest hub area because all of them have said hey yeah you got you want to do jobs you know come see us we got jobs for you uh now what way did i come from is that over here no that's the kitchen ah now that's where i literally just came from around this way ah there we go his top grill patio For it to load in. Do 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 do. There we go. Porter. The overboss returns. A uh, porter, sorry. Yeah. You're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath. Sure, I hope you didn't promise me too much. I, mean, I didn't promise anybody anything. Uh, well, yeah, they're, they're all on board. Yeah, you know, I didn't promise them anything other than just kind of, hey, you know, I'm here. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it. Time to roll up your sleeve, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back. One at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room, man. More resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it. The others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Plant a flag. Are you serious? Dead serious. Look, you leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves the space. A lot of these idiots can't read. So it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what to watch for. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. Yeah, so I can have him here as a um, companion. Well, I've, I've got a robot, thank you. Um... Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around. Yes, because if I want to, I could have him as a companion, do crazy raider shit, uh, and then have him end up as um, a companion, a proper companion. Um, although, um, yeah, uh, I have currently got um, Hancock as my character's love interest uh, although I have left him behind in favour of a unfeeling mechanical monstrosity um, I hope somewhere around here there's a workbench that I can potentially upgrade the robot because I don't want to have to kind of go out back to my home in order to upgrade him and then come all the way back here again it's a little bit of a, a, little bit of a journey um, still Look at the map. What have we got? Uh, local map. Ah, so that's all we're going to get. Okay. Uh, the world map. Ok. 
Okay, so this is the park. So it looks like there's various things out here. I'm, that, I assume that's the monorail station we came in on. Uh, so, Safari Adventure. Uh, that's going to be... The pack are going to have to go there because you know, they, they like their animals. So, Safari Adventure. Dry Rock Gulch. Mm, don't know what's there yet. Uh, the bottling plant, oh, that's, that's going to be the operators, they're definitely going to want to go there. Uh, Kitty Kingdom, Galactic Zone. Um, right, well I've got three, so I've got three gangs and five areas. Uh, definitely know who's going to those two. And we've got Tri-Rock Gulch, Kitty Kingdom, and Galactic Zone. Um, I'll have a look what's in each of these, I think. But one of these is definitely going to be uh, the Operators. Um, probably Galactic Zone. Tri-Rock Gulch and Kitty Kingdom. Uh don't know. Neither of those two sound much like pack territory. But pack are, like they said, they just want to do shit. And someone's going to come out on top. And so far the pack have given me the most information to run with. But on the other hand, some of them dress up like clowns. And I don't like clowns. So probably they're going to end up being on the bottom of the pile. Um, I'll probably have, if collectors are going there, or you know, controllers, I'll probably have the operators over here, and probably controllers down here as well in Kitty Kingdom. But that'll do for now. Um, I shall come back at some other point. Oh, there's the Commonwealth. <laughs> the Commonwealth, this is that bit over there. Uh, ah, the Hobologists. Ah. Ah, we might go see them. We might go see them in a bit. See what they're all about, those herbologists out there. Um, yeah, but until then, uh, thanks for watching this next section. We have now met all the gangs. We have five areas to go and locate. Um, as well as a reason to go... Yeah, it looks like it's that way. I guess. The Hubologists over there. So I want to see if they're still true to Mr. Hubble. And if they are, why on earth they are here? And what kind of information they can give us about the outcome of Fallout 2? Interesting. Anyway, yeah. Um, until then. Thanks for watching, and have a good night.